Hello everyone, my name is the Fox. This is going to be taking a look at Drastic, the Nintendo DS emulator running on that $13 retro handheld. This is uh, the Samsung Epic 4G where you just rip off the keyboard keys and you just kind of redesign them. You can see I've been putting in a lot of use and it's actually been rubbing away at this particular button, which is uh, pretty wild. Anyway, we're looking at Dragon Quest IX right now. Uh, for the most part, most all DS games run really well. There are times when obviously there is some uh, frame skipping present, but audio and everything else uh, doesn't skip, so it's actually quite a pleasant experience to actually play through it. We're going to be showing off four different games in here. I'm just starting off with Dragon Quest IX, which you see right here. For some reason... I had this issue. Oh, right. So let's go ahead and do this just so that it's a little bit kind of how things should be. You can totally hear that the sound is breaking up every now and again. Um, so it does happen for uh, pretty intense 3D games, but for the most part, everything runs reasonably well. And mapping some buttons to sw swapping the screen around is kind of necessary, especially for some DS games. Uh, but as it applies for you know JRPGs and stuff, having a not quite perfect frame rate is kind of okay. Benevolent Fox. But totally playable. Let's go ahead and show you some other games. So give me a second while I swap that out. Alrighty, here we have Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow. So we'll go ahead and just click start on that. Select data, new game, and I'll just write my, you know, let's uh, swap this out so it's a little bit easier to write. <laughs> Very gross fox handwritten. Alright, so we'll go. Okay, this is fine. Fast forward past this because it's a whole bunch of exposition that we don't really care about. In this particular instance, I am stretching the screen. You can see that it is getting stretched far beyond the aspect ratio that's at. But in this particular instance, I don't really mind it as much. It doesn't uh, really affect me, and I'd prefer to have it be uh, full screen, uh, as in occupying all of the pixels available. here. Naturally a lot of 2D games operate just fine. The dogs are <laughs> barking at something.
get more exposition. So you can see everything is totally playable with Drastic. It's more that this is a show uh, showcase of how amazing Drastic actually is. He's being able to play uh, DS games on uh, just a single core Cortex A8 at 1.2 gigahertz, uh, and have things be playable is absolutely amazing. Anyway, so the Castlevania games run just fine. Let me go ahead and go to yet another game. And this will be Mario Kart DS. Let's, let's go into the faster lane, even though that's ill-advised at this time. Now, one thing I would like to say about this is that button placement sometimes for certain games you're going to want to definitely kind of reconfigure, as being able to quickly press the trigger buttons will be a big benefit in this instance. Uh, because right now right trigger is mapped over there, so being able to hit right trigger and otherwise is going to be a little bit difficult. Also left trigger for firing weapons and stuff is kind of difficult. So in this particular instance <laughs> I would uh, almost advise people to use the camera button for right trigger. Seems like that would be at least a little bit better. Son of a... <laughs> Not nearly enough music. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at Pokemon Soul Silver, and that'll be finishing up this. Alrighty, this is Pokemon Soul Silver. We'll kind of just play through this as fast as we can. Alright, he went through the quick intro. This actually seems to run... I don't know if this is actually how it's supposed to run. I have actually played this on an actual DS. Hey, what's going on, guys? See me without my glasses. Speed this up. So you can't see that bag, so let's go ahead and just go back to dual view just so we can see everything come up. speed. I was waiting for someone to come and talk to me.
can almost see in this instance that for sure the frame rate is not nearly good, but the audio is keeping sync. I can't believe that this is how like fast it would play on a DS. It seems like it's way too slow. But again, for JRPGs where you have asynchronous combat and stuff, sometimes uh, speed issues aren't a big concern because you can have it, you know, just kind of just play. But this seems to be really slow. So again, certain games are going to be a little bit too much because this is way too good. I couldn't recommend this. But it's nice that Drastic keeps the uh, audio running just fine. Might actually want to just play this and like fast forward. Anywho, uh, this is taking a look at Drastic Emulation on the $13 handheld. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, thank you for your time.